word says, for the spirit of heaviness, put on the garment of praise. And that's how we fight our battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. What we're doing tonight. This is how I fight my battles. Just when you think you're lost. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Hey! It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. This is how I fight my Welcome to the broadcast. I have to write down a lady in South Carolina that just said to uh, pray for her. Um, we put her on the prayer list. And so it's good to see everybody tonight. Hope everyone had a good day today. And uh, we're home, resting, enjoying the blessings of the Lord. <laughs> Amen. It's good to be able to rest. You know, tomorrow I start driving on the streets with an 18 wheeler tractor and trailer, 53 foot. Never did anything like that before in my life. Thank God it's an automatic. Uh, but uh, y'all yeah, yeah, be praying. <laughs> Everything goes smooth tomorrow. Father, bless the broadcast, the word from the word broadcast. As we lift up Jesus, the only Savior of the world, save the sinner nearest to hell, before it's everlasting too late. All of the requests, we lay them before you tonight, give them to you in the name of Jesus. The lady that just turned in her request from South Carolina, and Father, and the others that will have been put in this week, and the ones that will come in throughout the weekend. Father, we pray that you'll bless your people in the name of Jesus. May Jesus' sheep, those who have trusted him as their Savior, personal Lord and Savior, we listen and follow his voice. Bless our broadcast on YouTube. Connect us with people on YouTube. And also connect us with people on Facebook and help us to continue to do our part in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, so let's get right into it tonight. We're back on the mighty men of David. The mighty men of David. Tonight we're looking at 2 Samuel 2334. 2 Samuel 2334. Eli, Eliam, or Eliam, the son of Ahithophel, the Gileadite. 
a lot of powerful material in these names. Let's begin with L-I-M. His name has four meanings, or really three meanings. They're all so powerful and meaningful to us tonight that are saved by the grace of God through Jesus Christ our Lord. The first meaning of his name is the people of God. You know, tonight, if you're born again, if you've trusted Christ as your Lord and Savior, your blood washed through in the divine blood of Jesus, born again into the family of God, you are one of God's people tonight, But and that's awesome. God is now your Father. Jesus is now your Savior. Your, Jesus is now your Savior and Lord. The Holy Ghost is now your Comforter. Heaven is now your home. Not hell anymore. And the Bible, God's Word, and its 3,000 plus promises from God to every believer are yours tonight and mine tonight. So, his name means God's people or the people of God. Number two, his name means he's the God of the people. I'm glad tonight, as Brother Mark always says, go with God. No better person to go with than God Almighty. He is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and all those who put their faith in Jesus alone for their salvation. If you're saved tonight, God is your Father. You are the people of God, but he's the God of the people. Somebody ought to type in amen. So you have God's people, the God of the people, but God is kinsman. His name also means that. And we know that when you get saved, trust Christ as your uh, personal Lord and Savior, you ask him to come to your heart, saved from your sin, you're born again into the family of God, and now Jesus is your brother. He's your elder brother. He's sticking closer than a brother. Uh, so tonight, L -I -L -I -L -L -I -M means a lot. But then, let's look at a Ahithophel for a minute. Now, let me give you the background of this. This man's, uh, uh, let me see if I've got it read right. He, this man's daddy, if you have studied the Word of God and read the life story of David in the Word of God, you know exactly who this guy is. He's the Old Testament Judas. Now you say, well, what are you, who are you talking about? I'm talking about the New Testament Judas betrayed the greater David, the Lord Jesus Christ, with a kiss. He kissed the doors of heaven and went to hell. The uh, Judas of the New Testament committed suicide by hanging himself. Now, how is he, how is he paralleled with, as an Old Testament Judas, how is Ahithophel an Old Testament Judas. Well, Ahithophel, this man's father, was David's right-hand man. He was David's right-hand man, his most, his most trusted counsel. You say, well, how did he betray David? Well, I'm glad I kind of got the idea that you asked. When Absalom decided that he was going to overthrow his father's kingdom, Ahithiel changed sides and betrayed King David to his wicked son. To tell you how wicked this guy was and Absalom was, he had all of Abs uh, King David's concubines, which were side basically side wives to the kings of the east raped in public. This guy, Absalom and Ahithiel were from the pit of hell. And he turned his back on David and went with the wicked Absalom. Now we know Absalom got killed by trying to escape when his revolutionary efforts were overthrown by David's special forces, David said, don't kill him. 
Joab said, I'm going to kill him. And he did. Absalom's mule was running through some low branches. It caught his long hair and he was hanging in the air and Joab threw a spear through his heart and killed him. Ahithiel did like Judas. When he realized that uh, David had tricked him by sending another counselor into Absalom's camp, which led, led to Absalom's uh, revolution being overthrown and David being restored as the king of Israel where he should have been all along, he went home, set his house in order, and hung himself and committed suicide. So both of these individuals, Judas in the New Testament, Ahithiel in the Old Testament, were, were uh, betrayers of one, King Jesus, and the other, King David. We definitely don't want to be like these individuals, do we? We don't want to betray a true friend. So, and, and by the way, his name, Ahithiel, the father of Eliam, means my brother of foolish folly and ruin. Isn't that strange that he ended up, his name was prophetic? His parents named him my brother who is foolish in folly and foolish in his ruin. Think about that tonight. That's strange, but it happened. So tonight, we want to uh, just give the Lord praise that we are his people. God is our God. And God is our intercessor, our great high priest. That's Jesus. He is, a, uh, he is our nearest kinsman. He's sticking closer than a brother. He's our Savior. He's our Lord. We praise him tonight that we are in the family of God. And we definitely do not want to end up like a Ahithiel and turn our back on King Jesus and line up with the enemy. The end will not be pretty. Come on, somebody. The end is never pretty for people who turn their back on Jesus. Never. And that's what happened here. We don't want to be like these individuals. Learn a lot from these names. <laughs> Brother Mark, the scriptures for tomorrow morning are Proverbs 4, 1 and 2. Proverbs 4, 1 and 2. All right, let me give you the announcements. You can write us. The Cordell's. 119 Terry, T-E-R-R-Y Avenue, M-N-I-N-M-A-N, -N -N, South Carolina, 29349. You can email us at CordellClayton at Yahoo.com. You can private message like some of you do every day. Uh, your praise reports or your prayer request. Thank you for sharing the broadcast. Thank you for praying for the broadcast. The kindest thing you can do for us is pray for us in the name of Jesus. And then also, you thank you for letting folks know that I'm on YouTube. Tell them when they go to YouTube to subscribe to my channel. Leave comments and let me know where they're watching from. Also on Facebook the same way. So that's it. Done for in the morning. Proverbs 4, 1 and 2. I've got uh, three more days. or I think they're going to just do three more days of schooling for me. The next three days, all I'm doing is driving the, the tractor and the 53-foot trailer all over Spartanburg or wherever. Uh, so pray that I, I've never driven anything like that in traffic. Pray I do good. And also, uh, I return back to work. My regular schedule next week, it's looking like Wednesday through Saturday. So I'll be working next week six straight days. So that ought to be, uh, which I don't mind, it gives me something to do. <laughs> Our, my CDL test is the 24th of March at 9 a.m. in Greenville. So you can write that down and pray for it if you want to. Wendy, who rededicated her life the other night, is doing fantastic in her new walk in Christ. Also, uh, 
everyone else that's rededicated their life, as far as I know from this broadcast, are, is doing well. Gemma in the Philippines is doing well. She rededicated her life on this broadcast. We had a, a truck driver rededicate his life. He's doing well. And we also had another man at work one time rededicate his life, and he's doing well. And whoever else, I don't know. But I know that I haven't heard any negative consequences from any decisions made on our broadcast. So we praise the Lord uh, for that. Uh, okay, folks. God bless you. Mark, did you get the scriptures? <laughs> oh, Pastor Carter, hallelujah. Man of God, hallelujah. Yes, that's from Proverbs 4, 1, and 2. So tonight, we had a good time in the Lord. I'm going to go in here and rest. And uh, the prayer list continues to grow. Uh, we had another lady from Georgia uh, sent me a message that I haven't heard anything since we anointed and prayed for her this morning. Her husband had... Uh, all sorts of congestion in his upper chest and his lungs and all of that. And also, a man at work, I don't know what he got, but COVID is still going around. I hope he didn't get COVID. Uh, so, we'll just, I don't know, we need to pray for him. Has anybody got a request? Put it in the comment section. I'll give you time to put it in there. We're getting ready to pray. Tomorrow, more, tomorrow morning schedule, I'll be on between 6 and 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can watch the broad, daily broadcast anytime by going to my Facebook page. This broadcast will be put on YouTube later on tonight. You can go and view them anytime you wish. And also tomorrow night about this time, I'll be back on 7.30 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. St continuing our study on the mighty men of David. Now, it looks like to me we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten more mighty men of David and his special forces, the top warriors in his national, national army. When we get done with that, we are already have made up our mind uh, to do a study on the book of Job. So we will be doing that. All right. All right. God bless everybody. God bless America. God bless the Jewish people and the nation of Israel. Y'all have a wonderful night. Uh, and uh, pray for us. We're praying for you. And like I said, let folks know their prayers are not only laid out before the Lord daily, the Lord Jesus Christ, but they're put on this prayer list. And I place them in our prayer box at the church when I put my tithes and offerings in every Sunday morning. And they're prayed over. Uh, Sister Carol, uh, Sister Carol Phillips of uh, South Carolina, pray for Ukraine. Yes, lay that whole situation before the Lord. Anybody else? That was the request that I was waiting on. Anybody else have a request? My wife just said her cousin Beth. We, she speaks not to go on dialysis. I have to go on dialysis. So we pray in the name of Jesus. The Lord will heal her kidneys. And where she won't have to go on dialysis. Which would be a modern day miracle for the glory of Jesus. Anybody else? Have, heal the folks that are getting sick all around us. Anybody else have a special request before I close the broadcast tonight? Anybody else? Here's your opportunity. All right, I've drank me some water and I feel a little better. We'll see y'all tomorrow. God bless you. Have a good night. And like I need to say this, as Pastor Donnie C. used to tell people and told Pastor Carter, when we go to bed tonight, your pillow is Psalms 23, and your neck pillow is John 14, 1 through 3. Have a good night's sleep.